Hello, my beautiful gems. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to become a PNG VTuber using an app called the Prism Live using a mobile device only. While Prism is capable of both PC and mobile streaming, we'll be focusing on the mobile features today. And I'm gonna be using an iPhone 11 for this demo. Without further ado, let's get to it. Step one is to create VTuber art for your Prism live streaming. So let's talk a little bit about the drawing process. I use a program called Photoshop to paint my character. You can use anything you can use your drawing tablet if that's all you have, like an iPad, you can use your mobile device if you're drawing your character, as long as you can export your character with a transparent background, no background behind them, then that will work out. To give you a little bit of a visual before you work on your character, this is what the icons will look like in the app, which is what I'll be going over with these different expressions that you will be creating. The first steps that I took was sketching my character. Now, all I did was copy and paste my character over and over again and just change her face expression. If you want more animation, of course, you could flick the ears or move the hair or do something like that. But to keep it simple, I just did the face expressions. Now let's run through what I did after the sketches. I filled in the base color. I fully rendered everything. I started with base colors, then I went in and did the extra rendering, making the hair look extra sparkly, the tail sparkly, all that good stuff. And then after making that one copy, I just made several copies where I would copy and paste the character in and just change whatever the face expression that was needed changed. So the first folder that you'll do is smile, and this is the eyes open with the mouth closed. And next we'll have smile open. So open stands for the mouth, closed stands for the mouth. So smile open. And then we'll have a smile open, blink, because the eyes are now closed, and then a smile closed blink. So we're just changing the face expressions there. Next there's one that's a little bit more of a wider smile, and you'll start with a wide closed. So I have closed mouth, and wide is just the name of the emoji. And then wide open, and then we'll do a wide closed blink in a wide open blanket. I just copy and pasted the eyes closed like that after I already drew them once to save some time. And also you don't need to name your file specifically these things. It will work no matter what you name it, but finding an organized naming system really helps. Next we have surprised. Here's surprise slight. This was probably one of my favorite face expressions. Then a surprised open with her mouth being even more open than it was in the previous. And then of course our two blinks. This is the only one where I really changed the eye drawing to get more sparkly eyes, tears, and then bent the eyelids up a bit to get a more sad look. Here's the sad open, and then the sad closed blink, and the sad open blink. And then lastly, we have the angry. And actually a mistake I'd realized later was I kept changing the wolf's expression, which is kind of awkward because when I talk, it looks like the wolf is talking, which means two people would need to be talking, and it's kind of hilarious. Let's take a look at our angry ones. First, we have angry closed, love her face expression, and then angry open. Ha! Ah! angry closed blink, and then an angry open blink. If you want to look more in depth and in detail at a guide, I'm going to be dropping a guide that walks you through and shows you. If you're interested in checking out this guide, you can join our Discord and I'll drop a link below. Navigate down to Sia YouTube Handouts and you'll find the Google Doc form right here. However, if you don't have VTuber art right now, you can also start with one of Prism's pre-made models to try out and get started. Once you have your VTuber ready, be sure to transfer the images to your phone and you can do this with Discord, which is what I like to use, or of course you can use something Something like email or any other method that works for you. Step number two is to download Prism Live Studio off of the App Store. Step three will be to set up your VTuber. First, you can switch over to the VTuber mode, which will give you special settings for your VTuber. Prism does support streaming for other modes as well, so you're more than welcome to check that out. In order to upload the images for our VTuber, we will click the little icon here, and then these little four squares in the left corner. Click register your new avatar and select the emojis that you want to use. You'll be responsible for creating the art that supports each of these emojis. These emojis are more so to help you control which emotion is active while you're live streaming. Next, you can go in and add the images you saved to your phone to each emoji. If you want to go back and edit your character at any time, you can go into the settings and select source to change out the photos. If you want to move your avatar around on screen, you can click on them and then drag them around. You can also create a custom background and you can do this by going to settings and selecting background. Of course, you'll have to make this art yourself and then be able to send it through Discord 
like we did with the avatar, where you can add your own or select an existing background that Prism already offers you. If you want to get rid of the bar, you can slide to the left to go to video mode only. You can always slide back right to get your settings up. Slide even more to the right and you can bring in media. Bring in text, music, videos, playlists. They even have a timer, animated stickers, and even social promotional pieces. This makes streaming on mobile really exciting because you can still do a lot of things that you would only be able to do on PC. If you want to add chat to stream, you can add a chat widget and customize it to your liking. To edit anything, again, you can select it and drag it around on the screen. As a tip, make sure the thing you are adding is selected when adding it. To delete pieces, you can go into edit, select the items you want, and Thanos them out of existence, and then voila, they're gone. Wow, that was way easier than collecting several infinity stones. You can also turn your mic threshold up and down to the left. When you test talk, you can see about where your voice is hitting and put it at about right before the highest peak. Once you connect your account, you can also run a live stream test, which I highly recommend running a test stream, to test out how your mic sounds to your audience. Step four is to connect to your account, Twitch, YouTube, and there's also a few other apps as well. Prism Live even allows you to multi-stream, meaning you can stream on multiple platforms at once, which is pretty awesome. Step five is to check your settings and make sure that they work for you. If you tend to have internet struggles or wanna to try to get a higher resolution if your internet is good, you can change your resolution here. And step six, you're finally ready to start streaming. Click that ready button and select the destination that you want to stream to. And remember, definitely do a test stream first so that your community can help you with anything that needs adjusting. If you want to learn more about becoming a VTuber, be sure to check out some of my podcast episodes here on this channel. Prism is a fantastic way to stream. Both their PC app and mobile app are honestly super intuitive and great to use. A huge shout out to Prism for sponsoring this video and we'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye!